Yo guys, how is it going? Today in this video I'll be playing a few games of 8-ball pool. So yeah, I just thought in this video we would be doing some non-guideline gameplay because I have not done that on my channel yet. So yeah, the lowest tier now is Cairo and, and it used to be Toronto but they have changed that now to a guideline tier which is handy I guess for some players but yeah, it doesn't really make a difference for me. But yeah, let's just get straight into our first non-guidelines game. So we have found our opponent, Stuart, and he is level 132. So he's got some coin queues, one cash queue, and the Medusa queue, which is a legendary queue, obviously. And yeah, he's got two Cairo rings, and 19 Toronto rings, and one Jakarta ring. They're his highest three rings. So yeah guys, I think we should go for spots. Well, I'm not too sure yet. Let's go for stripes. So, a nice plant there. That we've played. So we're in position now, and the only thing I really have to worry about is where the 8 ball is. It is a little bit tied up guys, so I'm hoping to be able to sort that out. So I've opened my 14 ball a little bit, well a little bit more than it was. And yeah, I, I want to knock my 14 ball in right now, because it is just a little bit of a tough ball on the table. So yeah guys, I think I want to leave my 15 ball last so I can get into the 8 ball and our opponent's spots, which are blocking it. So yeah guys, we've played a nice shot there. So if we get this right, we should be able to win the game. Well, guys, that was absolutely perfect. I couldn't have played that any better. And, yep, our opponent knew, and he's quit. So, yeah, that could have been a seven-ball denial. It definitely would have been. And I have been playing very well on non-guideline tiers lately. And, yeah, Dubai used to be a non-guideline tier as well. They've also changed that, and it's now Shanghai which is the non-guidelines tier, obviously in one of my earlier videos I played in Shanghai and it was a guideline tier then but yeah, let's just get straight into our second non-guidelines game that's if we can find an opponent guys and yep we have, I was just going to back out there, but yeah, we found our opponent. Usama, and he is level 94. And he's got a few of the lower tier rings, and three Shanghai rings, and three Dubai rings. But he has got four in on that break there, guys, so already things are looking nice for him. Just depends how good he is with no guidelines. And that will probably decide the fate of the game. Well, has that missed? No, not quite, guys. I thought he had for a minute, but no. Not quite. So he's down to two spots now. And can he see enough of his one ball? Yeah, I think he just can. So yeah, this eight ball is a pretty thin cut into the pocket I think he will go for. 
and yep, that is the pocket I thought he'd go for. And yeah, I think it is a bit too thin, to be honest, for him to be able to cut it in back into the pocket. He may have to quickly decide to go off a cushion here, guys, which he hasn't. He's just whacked it and came nowhere near to potting it. So yeah, this is our chance. He has also put the cue ball. So we've got ball in hand. And yeah, I've actually played a little bit of a poor shot there from ball in hand. And I don't think that has worked out. So we will just have to play this safe here. And yep, we've snookered him. So yeah, that's perfectly safe. And eh, that is probably the only shot I could have played, to be honest. But he has hit the 8 ball, so a good shot from our opponent. Especially with no, with no guidelines. But yeah, this is a great chance to win, guys. And yep, we've knocked our 10 ball in. That was the main ball I needed to knock in. Now this should be pretty easy to knock our 12 ball in. And yep, we have done that. And there we go guys, we've knocked the 8 ball in. That went all the way to the 8 ball that game. But I have managed to win. So let's just back straight out of that game, because we have won. So yeah, there's now only 3 non-guideline tiers to play in. But yeah, I'm going to get straight into my last game, which will be Rome Colosseum. And I do quite like this table. And I have obviously already got a ring, so I haven't actually played in this game since I got the ring. So yeah, well, the Crimson queue actually looks pretty awesome, like, playing in this table. It really blends in with the table. Looks nice, guys. But yeah, let's just take off, let's just take our break. And we have potted three in, the eight ball will come back out though. And yeah, that the black ball, sorry, the eight ball, seems to be tied up a little bit with this spot. So I'm going to try and open that here. Well, I don't know how I've actually managed to miss that, guys. I really don't. Because balls were going all over the table there. So we'll just give it up for now. And let's just focus on the top half of the top off of the table so okay guys let's take our nine ball and let's roll it down into the pocket So yeah, this is really the big moment in this video. Can we split the eight ball here? Unfortunately not, guys. So yeah, I think I'm just going to play the safe option. And yeah, his, his seven ball is still tied up with my eight ball. And also his one ball and five ball are tied up together. So this should be tough for him to win the game. But I think I know what he's doing. He's going to open his one ball and five ball up here. And leave me in a bit of trouble, guys.
and unfortunately we failed in tying the eight ball up with our opponent's two ball so this is a big chance for him to win So yeah guys, our opponent will be taking his 5 ball. So yeah, things are looking pretty good for him here. And guys, he has managed to miss his four ball. My heart was in my mouth there if he would miss or not. Well, I wasn't that worried, but you know. But yeah, let's just get this eight ball in. So yeah, guys, we have managed to knock the eight ball in, and that will be our third game in a row one. We're waiting for your opponent's response. I don't think I've actually checked out this guy's account. He's got one, two, three, four legendary cues. And otherwise just dollar cues. So so yeah, he has got a nice collection and he's got quite a lot of the lower tier rings. He's got twelve Dubai rings, each Shanghai rings, five Rome rings, and his best ring is the Bangkok ring. So yeah guys, as soon as we have went off, our opponent has quit. So yeah guys, we have won in Rome too. So yeah, we start in Cairo, won. Then Shanghai, won. Then we have just won in Rome Colosseum. So yeah, this has been my non-guidelines gameplay video. So yeah, stay tuned, I'll be uploading my next video very soon. And yeah, see you in the next video guys.